Anger over the Michael Brown case is going global, with rallies breaking out in London. Crowds there are speaking out against a ruling in the United States not to indict the white police officer who killed the black teenager in Ferguson, Missouri earlier this year. Let's go, uh, we're going to cross uh, later to RT UK, uh, where they'll have a corresponding standing by. Actually, we can cross over there now. Our correspondent is standing there by Harry Fear there. Well, the hundreds of London to Ferguson solidarity protesters have in the last few moments torn down the barriers of Parliament Square, which has, of course, been cordoned off by the Greater London Authority over the last couple of weeks. So this is significant in the context of the right to assemble uh, and the situation of Parliament Square and protests here. And the messages from uh, these protesters is that the killing uh, of the uh, American team this August uh, is paralleled with the killing of Mark Duggan here in August 2011. And the belief is that there is a systemic problem in both the UK and the US, that there is institutionalized racism uh, in the police forces uh, and by the state. And so protesters here, very impassioned, uh, chanting, uh, who killed Mark Duggan? The police Mark killed police. Mark Duggan. Who killed Mike Brown? The police killed Mike Brown. And Harry, as you're talking to me, we're showing live pictures of uh, the scenes there in central London this evening. Tell us more about what protesters are saying about the link between what's happened in the US and the situation here in this country. Just expand on that a bit more if you can. Well, the protesters uh, believe that there is this parallel, as I mentioned, and they are, of course, vastly angered at the grand jury uh, decision uh, not to indict uh, the police officer, the cop, um, who was responsible for the killing of Michael Brown. And uh, actually, just behind me, the protesters are on the march, uh, and, and we'll move with them. Uh, their belief is that there must be uh, reforms to the way uh, that uh, there is policing, uh, in London uh, and in the UK uh, in order to address this uh, systemic problem, as they call it, of racism uh, by the police. And earlier I spoke to Carol Dungan, uh, the aunt of Mark Bardo, who was killed in summer 2011. You can listen to her comments now. Enough is enough. Um, as you can see, the police are murdering black people with impunity. Um, we all know that the American police are very aggressive and are very trigger-happy, um, but I'm afraid to say the British police are not much different. Um, the institutional racism in this country is so ingrained, I don't even think they realise that they are racist themselves, but they are. Um, we know Mark's death was a racist murder because um, after the police murdered Mark, they didn't even feel that he, there was a need for them to come and inform his parents that he'd been shot dead. Well, the protesters weren't expecting to have a march through central London tonight, but they've taken the police by surprise. There are really, in comparison to normal policing operations, not enough police to, to police uh, uh, such impassioned uh, and spontaneous demonstration through the streets of central London. We've been through Oxford Street uh, towards Trafalgar Square outside Charing Cross Police Station and now, just moments ago, outside the UK Parliament. And now protesters have headed off down behind me. And in the words of one of the protesters, organizers, they believe that this institutional racism, this inequality and injustice uh, against black people is a as a result of, as they put it, black people being treated as third-class citizens. And they believe that this is a decades-old problem both in the UK uh, and in the US. And many uh, in attendance of this demonstration here tonight say they have been witnesses to this kind of institutional racism uh, on the part of the British police. Well, Harry, just finally, just behind you, I can see some of those uh, twisted barricades that have been broken down there behind you in Parliament Square. Is there a sense, though, despite the anger, that this could actually get more tense and perhaps violence tonight? Is there a danger of that? Well, what's interesting is we haven't seen pronounced scuffles between prote protesters and police, but we have seen the tearing down of these symbolic and iconic barricades around Parliament Square. So certainly protesters chanting whose streets are streets uh, are sending a message that they feel right now uh, vastly impassioned and vastly ready uh, to speak out uh, in this way it, with this unified message, as I mentioned earlier, um, to, to send their message to the powers that be, if you will. Uh, we, we're obviously not expecting 
allowing central London to become uh, Ferguson and, and to see the sorts of clashes that we've seen in the last few days uh, in Missouri. Uh, but certainly uh, in the next while, it's possible that this protest here in central London tonight may further escalate.